This short video is going to demonstrate the undocumented items feature in Document X 2010. So the undocumented items tool can be used to validate the completeness of your documentation and the best way to show what that means is to give you a quick demonstration of how the tool works. So I've opened up the .NET sample that ships with Document X 2010 here but the undocumented items tool can be used with any of the um, documentation types supported by Document X 2010 so com component documentation, database documentation, Ajax documentation can all be used with this tool. So I've switched to the tools ribbon tab and I'm going to click the undocumented items ribbon button here um, and that opens up the tool window for me here. Okay so I'm going to go initially with the default set of options here so I'm going to check every um, item within the documentation types that I've got in this particular project. I'm going to just check for the summary so I'm not going to be any more stringent than that requiring just a descriptive summary and I'm going to use all of the content sources so that's content coming from my XML comments um, and also coming from content files and any content from content items I've used to, to redirect content uh, within my documentation. So I'm going to go ahead and click the execute button and the reports found um, what seven different items within my documentation here that don't have um, any content matching the criteria I specified here. So what I'd like to do is go in and, and populate the documentation for those items to make sure that the documentation is complete. So the first step down that road is to open the first item here for edit. So I'm going to select it in the list here and then click the edit button. And that will open up the content file relating to that item and will navigate to that item for me so that I can start uh, creating content for it. So I'm just going to type a quick summary here. Okay, and what you might have noticed is as I open that first item from the list, I get a navigation bar appear above the document area here. And that allows me to navigate amongst the results in the undocumented items list. So I'm currently looking at item one of seven, and uh, I've now completed the documentation for that. If I want to skip to the next item, I just click that uh, button on the navigation bar here and I'm now item 2 of 7 which is the namespace. Uh, there's also a hot key, hot key for each of these buttons um, and that's the chevrons or the comma and the dot key on the uh, UK keyboard here. So control and chevron right, the next item, control chevron left would be the previous item. So let's just put some uh, summary in there too. Okay, so I've now documented two of those seven items on the list just to show you uh, how, how that will affect our list as we go through. If I go back to the undocumented items and repeat the report, you can see those two items now have disappeared from the list. So you can um, go with the default checking for just the summary content, but you could also do some more specific checks. Um, let's go through a quick example here. If I wanted to check for classes in my documentation for which I haven't created uh, an example. So I'm just going to untick all of the item types apart from class and I'm going to scroll down the bottom of the list of my content types here. I'm going to tick example code. So this will give me a list um, of every class in my documentation that hasn't got an example associated. And again I can just double click on an item in the list here and it will navigate to that item for me ready for me to create an example there. So the idea there is that you can use the undocumented items to find your basic um, items without any documentation at all, but you can also be more specific about your searches to search for specific item types um, or specific content types um, that you require in your documentation that haven't yet been produced. So that concludes this short video demonstrating how to use the undocumented items feature.